Let me Luis is Monday. Today we have this one. It's 2016 Sportage LX. Remember this kind of trucks. Oh, I'm sorry, SUVs. The problem is this kind of shapes. Okay, the molding I asked parts, but they don't have it, so it's not available right now. The car is sold unit, so they want to get it done today, no matter what. It's in delivery probably after 12 today. This after today. So I mean today. So they're gonna use delivery, so they want to get it done. They don't care. They don't need something else. They want the truck done. So. I have to replace the windshield. I'm gonna try to save this molding and reuse it if in case cannot use it. I'm gonna use Marcy Lane. That's the only can match this kind of shape, okay? So remember, uh, the review for the cow is just like a couple of clips, like any Kia. Um, nothing here, it's just the hooks under the glass. Little clips right here, the plastic clips, the wipers on, and that's it, okay? I'm gonna use the Pro 6. Remember, I'm gonna try to do the same technique like the Raptor. Start working on the corner, and I think it's gonna be more easy. Now, let me try save this molding. We're gonna pull the corner. A little bit and slowly, carefully. No scratches. And let's start pulling slowly. In this case, this is nice, but sometimes it starts to be deformed because it has a metal in the middle. So you gotta pull this one. There you go. So I think it works. So I think we can reuse it. And my problem is when you see these kind of cuts right here. And these cuts is when they open it and they start cutting more and that's it, the molding is gone. So let me see if I can pull it without damage. There you go. So now, my tip is this, when you're pulling this one, don't pull too hard. Just try to go out like this and just back and do like a little massage and the molding's back on place. And you don't believe me? Let me show you here. And you see the molding back on the same shape. Because I, I want to make sure it's no marks on the molding. It's coming like little, you know, like a little bender, but this is fine. So I think we're good. So it's a little hard when the dealers don't give us any molding because this is when we're in trouble with this kind of, they want to get a good finish, but remember that way, this is good, it's not much glue here, a little tight here, okay, just making it straight, there you go, so I think we're good with this molding, so I'm just going to put in the sun, a little warm a little bit. Okay, and now remember the review mirror on this new Sportage is different than the other one. This one we're gonna use the Alum because it's not gonna be more like the Torx, you know, like the Star. Because this one has this design. So it's different than the other cars now. Okay, you see the bracket? It's coming with the ball, the Phillips, but it's attached with this little allen right here. So it's not going to be the same like the other ones. Now, see, if I want to take the wire from here, I have to take my little console here, but I don't want to be in bolt. Now, you can have some of those uh, hooks from equalizers. You can just hook those uh, mirror from the visors. I don't have it, so I have to just use one of these. It's the same thing, but just from here you can see you can hand right there and that's all okay so I'm gonna put the core now remember it's gonna be the Pro 6 the series is XNX 96 XN 96, sorry, for the line we're gonna use remember clean your cups that's the key Remember, you're gonna set your line here right now. This one, a difference than the spider, you can just make your net right there. Okay, and now what I'm doing, remember this, I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Always I make seven or eight. Little extra line. If in case my line break, I can reuse the rest. So, all right. 
remember the anchor don't hide it because it's going to catch the three toes of the bolt and it's going to mess the line which just go right there you can make turns like that and tie it okay, i'm going to go more faster here uh, when i finish i'm going to let you know about that that thing is on the car on my truck it's going to be a new tool like um, that's coming a couple of weeks more i'm going to have it this is uh i send them to make an aluminum or metal i'm just taking see what's the best metal we can use for reduce the weight on the truck all right and let's go inside so remember the same like the uh, raptor we're gonna start working you know in this area so i'm gonna set him here and this one remember is gonna align me with my corner here i'm gonna set this one here because it's more bigger all right in my line just draw the line a little color or remember you can use any kind and remember we've got the corner right there we're gonna use partners here Remember the hole right there, just hook in the hole, just pull, and you catch the line. Here is going to be difficult. Like that, you see. Remember, you you don't know you, and this way on this way. Okay, remember, you want to make a little cut. You can do it, but it's going to hurt your hand a little bit. Right there, and you shoot. You down, and it's going to be up. This is not really deep, so it's not a big deal. You don't have to use hooks on this one. Now here, I'm gonna put some tapes in the middle because this kind of shape is gonna just pass those uh, um, <clears throat> those kind of thorns on the top. I'm gonna put one tip just right here just to hold the line because I'm pretty sure it's gonna just pop from that shapes you know for those two on the on the each side All right. and now Okay guys, so we start ready to start making dust cats. I'm gonna go manual. I don't wanna use power today and see what happened, okay? So I'm gonna just go inside. I'm gonna cut the video here because I don't wanna, uh, I don't want to make this longer uh, because I don't have too much battery. I forget to charge my battery for this weekend. So I'm gonna cut here and start, start making this cat. Remember, we're gonna start right here. Remember, a difference than the other one, this one's going angle a little bit like this shape or you can go all the way down but i want to cut the middle i think it's the best okay huh? we're gonna repeat it. remember if my line is crossed i have to just move my anchor okay so it's not a big deal 
but it's fine. When my gravity stop, this one there'll be one, okay? Right there. This one here. In this case, I'm gonna go here. But if I'm gonna be touching my pillar, remember use double this one. But I'm gonna see if I touching. I gotta go up a little bit more, right here. In this case, we have more room, okay? So remember, we're working the first time on this kind of cut for this one, for the Pro 6 and one single system. The gravity stuff right there. Make sure I'm catching the plastic and not the pitch wheel. Yeah, it's almost cut it. Let's go slowly. There you go. In this case, I'm gonna go, this is gonna be the problem with this kind of system because here, I have to go more lower like this, but remember we cannot do it because now uh, this part is gonna be more close to this area. So in this case, what I'm doing, I'm gonna go, the lowest I can is probably here, okay. Remember, this is my technique, but just, you just have to just keep the manufacturer instruction, okay? So they have another technique, it's more faster, um, easy to use, but I'm just testing today, see if we can match the same like the, remember the, 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 the other one we have, the um, Raptor, so let me see if I can have my adapter here, and I'm gonna go with power. I'm gonna think it's gonna be more easy now for that kind of shape. I'm gonna use the bit, you're gonna go straight, so that's the best way to don't touch the dashboard. And we can go more low, okay? My protector here. Make sure I'm in the second one. with power it's gonna be the more easy for the difficult access on the bottom I mean when you cut in from I don't know in this area for the dashboard so now we go right here in this case we can use the manual but I'm gonna go with power it's gonna move more faster because my appointment I don't have too much job but appointments are really close each other so I have to go fast. here I just can go straight
okay guys so we finished this cut so it was easy i like more when i set two systems here and i could you know one this way this way because it's less uh uh the glue uh, offer more uh less um strain or less uh, uh stress for the line but this one works very nice so i think I can do it in the same way like the raptor working at the corners all right guys so we pull this one up I don't want to have an accident today. Okay, guys, as you see, we make the cut. It's no problem, so it's clean. So, this kind of shape sometimes is difficult, especially when the people want to use the cut knife. There's no way you can go this close because you're going to scratch here, and you know, you can do it. You're not going to make it scratches because the glue is here, but it's too far. Okay, so kit system that the wire system is the best, or fiber line is the best option. Okay, so I'm going to make this one ready, clean, and be ready. I'm going to use my WR D system uh, set of tools right here. So I'm going to use my uh, system inside to attach the fork and right here. Okay, guys, and later I'm going to show you this one. This is a prototype I'm working. I'm just working to see what kind of material is going to be the best. Today I got it here on my truck because they people making this one, they see the size, what it's going to be, because it's got to be out of the here. So I have to get pretty close to heat but not too much or it's gonna hit this part and it's gonna stuck inside so it's gonna be pretty cool so I show you ladies how the thing works okay guys so see you next shot I'm gonna clean set and we finish so see you next so my um, activator pipes already dry more than three minutes the primary dry more than six minutes so we're ready to set I'm gonna set my bin now remember this one dries really fast the max is especially when it's a humid now this glass show us where the glue is going to go these little marks at the ot uh, dots we got it right here they show us where the glue is going to be now if in case you want to be involved and you know mess with the bottom you are not feeling really good but you can set the glass i mean the glue on the body but this one show you where uh, it's going to be okay so don't be afraid and you can just set this one right here Just follow the exactly shape and this one. Now here you're not gonna go on the top of here, okay? Remember you're gonna go right here. Today we use more than one. It's a big one. So I have this one left for Saturday, so I think it's still good. bubbles put the gap here and here and remember I'm gonna show you why we put the glue a straight on the top because as you see here you see it's nothing you can go up here okay don't make the mistake and you set the glue in this area it's gonna be here and get it straight all the way and down because many I saw a couple of this one before and the glassman's always set the glue the same shape like the glue and this way the seal is not bad but that's not the sign in that way it's right here and people go set the glue on the glass right here you, I, I saw some mistakes not really not too many not too many but i saw those before ah so now let's go set our system here it's a little windy today let's careful Got the corner first. Careful with this one. Let's 
said right there. First touch is enough to hold the glass and it's not heavy, so it's really light. You see nothing is squeezed on the bottom, so that's nice. Because when you go far from here or inside, you're going to cover the wind number or outside, you're going to mess with that part. So remember, we're going to run a lead detector just to make sure all is okay. Go up a little bit more and push it down. Guys, we finished here so remember the first touch is the most important so you don't have to use tapes uh, when I using the high density glue like a Sika or, or Express or I don't need to use any tape okay the glue do the job by itself so but you're using 418 yeah uh, or 428 I recommend you use tape because the glass is not gonna be stay it's not gonna stay on the place it's gonna start sliding down you see now it's very nice here so we will use the molding there's no marks here so it's nice um, I'm just gonna put my leak detector put the parts back on and we're finished okay guys so see you next shot because I got customer waiting is the door glass